Hello, my soccer universe. Well, wearing my City Away jersey from last season, mostly to give a beautiful jersey some love, but also because it is featured in one of the few marquee matchups this upcoming weekend. This upcoming weekend to me is characterized by uh, two things. A, the Champions League is coming, so we have really fixture congestion on Saturday. Uh, where you really have to pick and choose probably and what makes it even worse for me is that most of the day on Saturday I won't be around <laughs> so yeah that will be a tough one to swallow but I'll make it I saw that yeah many of the matches that I would see I will not be able to see and it's also characterized that we don't have that many great matchups although there are I would argue three that stick out, uh, two of them are in Italy, and then there's a very special one that I'll add on at the end. I'm only going to go through the top five leagues, I'll add Austria, I will always add Austria from now on, and as I said, there will be a little add-on at the end. Uh, let's start in La Liga. Uh, I think the one that sticks out to me here is Real Madrid de Real Sociedad at 9 o'clock on Saturday. Granada, yeah, since they have fallen, they're not that great, but maybe against Atletico Madrid they can do something. Barcelona is playing very early on Saturday at Leganes, so uh, yeah, it's not the best matchup. We have Sevilla playing who in fourth place on Sunday late, so if I look on Sunday, really not that many great matchups. I think all the big boys are playing already on Saturday. In the Premier League, well, there is at least an interesting one Sunday, but um, I think all eyes will be on the early kick of uh, Spurs at West Ham to see the first match of Mourinho. Still cannot quite get that one. Uh, Leicester is playing at Brighton. Um, Liverpool is playing at Crystal Palace. And then the first big matchup uh, that we'll talk about is City against Chelsea um, late on Saturday. That would be one that I probably would be watching, however, there's another one and I might be just arriving just at kickoff, so I have to see how I will uh, do with that. We also have a Monday game with Aston Villa Newcastle, uh, which, yeah, giving my... I might not put this into my roundup video, let's see how it will go. Uh, and I think Sheffield United uh, against Manchester United, that's actually quite an interesting one, given how well Sheffield United is playing. Similar story in Germany, we have actually Dortmund playing against Paderborn, but that shouldn't be much of a match. Then, um, yeah, Leverkusen Freiburg. Is that a big matchup? Frankfurt Wolfsburg? You know, those are already the big ones. I mean, from name, it's a Bremen Schalke, but if I look at the table, no, it's anything but Leipzig playing late. And then also the Sunday games are leave me kind of lukewarm. Uh, a little bit more exciting, but again, fixture congestion on Saturday. Atalanta Juve, that's a great game. 3 o'clock. <laughs> At 6 o'clock, you have Milan Napoli. Uh, I'm not sure how great of a game this will be since both teams are in crisis. Given Milan showing against Juve, there's a little bit of hope in the Milan community, but yeah. It's not the one, It's uh, it bugs me most that this is on Saturday, but I understand Napoli has to play in the Champions League, so yeah, what can you do? Uh, Torino Inter trap game, maybe, I don't think it will be, I think it's more Atalanta Juventus is a trap game for Juventus. Uh, we have Roma Brescia, I think that could be an interesting one. Uh, Cagliari, I really gotta watch Cal Cagliari once. And you know, whenever I watch them, they suddenly lose me, maybe, maybe I shouldn't. So, so Lazio, um, yeah, it's, as you see, it's all, <laughs> Hellas Verona against Fiorentina is probably one that there is a whole lot of crisis uh, written on there, because at least Fiorentina you would expect a little bit better, but on the other side they're both midfield sides, so let's see. In France, I think the most interesting matchup is already happening on Friday, and I might actually watch this one, uh, PSG against Lille. Uh, I think that sounds like one that I might be interested in. Uh, Leonis on Saturday is also not that not interesting uh, if I look at it. We have Marseille playing uh, late on Sunday against Toulouse, which basically actually exposes them a little bit. Uh, it might actually be a time where you can watch that because there's not much uh, else happening. A Breton derby between Brest and Nantes. Also, if you're into that sort of thing. <laughs> 
uh, in Austria, yeah, and I was a little a little bit gutted because usually um, Lask is playing now Sundays. Now this time they're playing on Saturday against Tirol, and I will most likely or surely not play see this game. I mean, all European teams are playing on Saturday: Salzburg, Sandburg, Mattersburg, Wolfsburg. The big game is Rapid against Sturm. That's always a big matchup, although uh, it does not it's not a top of the table clash anymore. So yeah, uh, for those of you who like a really bad soccer, watch out Mira against Austria. That's definitely gonna be a horror show. But we also have on Saturday to add to the fixture congestion. This here could be played on Sunday, the Copa Libertadores final. One leg this time played in uh, Lima uh, in the um, stadium of Universitario, I think. If I'm not completely mistaken. Uh, Flamengo against the River. Those are, I mean, Flamengo is probably the biggest club in Brazil. A river, arguably the second biggest in Argentina. So that's a maybe not Boca River uh, mega, but I think on the intercontinental stage, uh, that's a pretty, pretty big matchup, I would say. This would be like a Real Madrid, Liverpool, um, you know, Milan, Barcelona, uh, Real Madrid, Juventus, that type of thing final. A really a great one that I'm actually, I might be able to see, I will be able to see this one most likely. And I think I probably will choose that one on Saturday in the evening, just because there's a trophy on the line and I want to see a little bit of South America as well. Will it be as great soccer as in Europe? Probably not, but still, I think that might be, that might be one worth watching. Let me know what you'll be watching. This weekend, I think there are quite some interesting games in there. As I said, it's all Saturday and Sunday's kind of blah. Well, so be it. Hope your weekend planning is a little bit better than mine, but you know, if you meet other people, it's also nice. You don't always have to watch soccer. And I watched a lot of soccer over the last few days. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if uh, you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.